A nice covered wagon here. This is the visitor center here. The new Salem uh, visitor center. And you can see here, this is an old loom. Uh, it's kind of like a little museum here. This is where Abraham Lincoln lived. Uh, during his youth, uh, one of the places at least. I was born in Kentucky, but uh, gives you an idea what this is like. Some of the furs here that people had. It's an old fur here. And uh, uh, 21, I came to Illinois and passed the first year. Uh, in Macon County. Then I got to New Salem. So, a little bit on Abraham Lincoln. Uh, some 1830s sewing accessories. So back in the 1830s, people didn't have a lot. But this is what they did have. When they had nice things. Uh, gives you an idea what those old barrels were like. Uh, Lincoln remembered. Uh, you can kind of see here the reconstruction of New Salem. You can pause the video and watch some of that. Uh, wartime president. A little bit about him during the war. Uh, Republican organizer. So, tells you about that as well. The birth of the party. The wing congressman. So, yeah. You see the wall here. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All those old looms and stuff. Uh, you see, it looks like Lincoln depicted there. Shakespeare by the Sagamon River, Abraham Lincoln, and Anne Rutledge. That was the love that Abraham Lincoln had before he, he married uh, Mary Todd. And uh, back then, you know, it was the case that, uh, you know, he, uh, after, yeah, after, uh, um, after Ann Rutledge died, that, that Rank Lincoln became very depressed. And uh, yeah, so it was really the case that uh, it was very sad. But he did eventually marry, and um, but he didn't. He didn't marry Anne Rutledge. So yep, it talks about him as a congressman. You can see here what the display looks like. Springfield lawyer. So yep. Lincoln surveying tools. Be able to learn a little bit about that. This is one of the best uh, Lincoln sites that I've been to for showing showing uh, Lincoln history here. This is the compass and staff chain used by Lincoln. Well, deputy surveyor of the Sagamon County. Their instruments were manufactured by Rittenhouse and Company of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the late 1700s. You can pause the video and take a look at that. So this was old when Abraham Lincoln used these, these items. They were very old. And that's interesting to know. In the Illinois legislature, candidate Lincoln and uh, 
March of 1832, uh, Abraham Lincoln declared himself a candidate for the Sagamon County's four seats in the Illinois House of Representative, Representatives. A month later, Lincoln joined the Volunteer Army fighting the Black Hawk War and did not return to New Salem until two weeks before the August election. Though not elected, he won 277 of the New Salem precincts, 300 votes. He ran again in 1832 and won. On December 1st, 1832, Abraham Lincoln began, began the first of four terms as representative, taking a seat in the State House at Vandalia. And then, uh, you know, roads, rail house, railroads, and canals. Uh, Representative Lincoln enthusiastically supported the Wing Party program that uh, promoted commercial development through government construction of roads, uh, rail railroads, and canals to connect isolated regions into an existing web of markets. <laughs> projects that would become New Salem uh, area uh, farmers, projects that would benefit New Salem area farmers and tradesmen by making the river uh, navigatable by steamboats uh, that were a special investment. A sweeping improvement program was authorized, but it failed. Almost bankrupted the state in early 18... Uh, 37, Lincoln played an important and controversial role in designating Springfield as Illinois' new capital. Lincoln played a part in that, which I did not know. So, yeah. Uh, education deficiency. He was self-educated. That's what it tells you here. So you will see here the capital, Abraham Lincoln, three terms of service, pride and satisfaction. Uh, so 1832, Abraham Lincoln joined a company of volunteers uh, raised near Salem, New Salem to help drive a band of Indians led by Blackhawk across the Mississippi River. Uh, the more than 60 uh, neighbors making up the unit chose him as its commander by an overwhelming vote. It was his first election victory. Captain Lincoln and his men spent four weeks marching and countermarching across western and northern Illinois. When the company's uh, return of service ended, Lincoln enlisted this time as a private. Uh, he later signed on for a third enlistment. Lincoln was discharged July 10, 1832 at White River in today's Wisconsin and returned to New Salem with pride and satisfaction. Lincoln returned to New Salem without having seen a single hostile Indian. Still, he took great pride in his service, especially in having been chosen as leader by the New Salem peers. In 1860, the Republican nominee for President of the United States that he uh, has not since had uh, any success in life, which gave him so much satisfaction. 1860, Republican nominee for the President of the United States wrote that he uh, had not since had any success in his life, which gave him much satisfaction. So, uh, Lincoln, how he did odd jobs. Yep, a little story about that. Wilderness and the youth there. Yep, able to kind of learn a little bit about it. So, there you're able to see you know, the whole 
story unfold of Lincoln's life. Kind of pan around here. See him at a store. Be able to read some of this too if you like. So I'm going to walk around here and we're going to see. We're going to see a little bit about this. <sighs> the men of the 1683rd Company Civilian uh, Conservation Corp who worked to develop Lincoln's new Salem State Park. So this is a history here of the new Salem State Park which is, this is where Lincoln lived here, but it got reconstructed. That's what they're going to tell you here. How pictures of what was found way back in the day and how it had a impact on uh, how people reconstructed these old forts and stuff not forts but log cabins would have been awesome if it was forts but it's still awesome so this is this is some many many years ago that this was done and it was done to commemorate Lincoln, obviously, having lived in New Salem. Department of the Interior National Park Service. This is the State Illinois Conservation Work, Illinois, New Salem. Name of the park, Petersburg. Superintendent was David Kindle. So here you're able to see in 1918 the old Salem League. That's what that picture is. So they, 19, 1918, they put this place together. Now, kind of reconstructing it. It tells you a little bit about it, the 1930s. They're reconstructing this place. All but one of the 23 major log cabins uh, buildings stand today in Lincoln's new Salem are a high, hypothetical reconstruction. The only original building is the Boss that copper shop, which has been altered over the years. So apparently that thing that looked like a, uh, a sawmill may have been a copper shop. So so that's a little description of New Salem there. Construction of New Salem. Family records. Uh, 
That's some old family records right there. Most of these were owned by James Rutledge and donated by descendants of this well-known New Salem family. They had the Rutledge Tavern reconstruction. Uh, William H. Vernon. You guys can pause the video here. It talks about the Rutledge Tavern. The story of Ann Rutledge. Just the love that Abraham Lincoln had. It shows how deeply in love he was with Ann Rutledge. Late in the 1830s. Some of the old, old artifacts here. Pretty amazing. <sighs> A new Salem store. They sold linens, wool, all kinds of things. That's where Abraham Lincoln, I believe, worked there. Reconstruction. The Barry Lincoln store. So in 1832, Abraham Lincoln became a storekeeper. He went into partnership with William F. Berry, the son of local preacher Berry and Lincoln, uh, proved to be uh, inexperienced storekeepers and faced stiff competition from the village's most successful merchant, Samuel Hill. Village residents gossiped that Berry drank too much while Lincoln spent his time reading newspapers and telling stories. Lincoln later recalled at the Berry Lincoln store winked out. He sold his interest in the store to Barry in April 1833. So this is some awesome stuff. So archaeologists there uh, on the site there in 1830 uh, they produced many shards of Feather edge blue and green ceramic pieces. Uh, and uh, there are items made in England and sold in the store. Stores like it throughout America. So, yeah, you're going to see what it looks like. There's an old affidavit there. Life in the 1830s. We're able to kind of see a little bit on that. Learn about Illinois history. Commercial waterways of the 1830s. So, it's very interesting. So New Salem was on a commercial waterway. This is what this is saying. So, the voyage of Denton Flatboat, 1831. 
that went down this this path here down the Mississippi the Gulf of Mexico but then also to the voyage of steamboat these are old commercial waterways so apparently they're able to go up the river somehow into Springfield the Center for Trade and Commerce 1830s so yeah very interesting there's your old steamboat there that go down the river it's got a little American flag on it 1832, Cincinnati, Ohio. So different accounts of the Lincoln wrestling match here. So this tells you about it. So yeah. Lincoln had a wrestling match. Who won the wrestling match? We're able to see some interesting history here. Some old paintings. You guys can pause the video and watch this. Reconstruction, most of the stories about Lincoln's life in New Salem came from the uh, recollection of his friends and former neighbors. Uh, so, yeah. How uh, Lincoln won respect. This is a little story here able to see the life in the 1830s. So yeah, this is very interesting. So Give you an idea of some of the tools that were used back then. 19th century tools. And then right here, you're able to see see what this looks like. So apparently that thing that I saw must have been a sawmill. just difficult to imagine. So we're able to see fishing the New Salem, what that was like. <sighs> Lincoln arrives. Oh boy. Tell you what, this is truly amazing place. There's a little boat there. Lincoln's flat boat in New Salem, uh, Middle Middleton. Yep. Tells you a little bit about. Lincoln's account. You guys can pause.
pause the video and watch this. <laughs> Read it. Yeah. Kind of see what this is about. Anyway. God bless. God be praised. And I'll tell you what. Bye for now.